Hello, all of my potential voters in 2024. It's the best president in American history. Joe Biden here with you. Today, we're going back to the rocket game corner to keep another election promise by getting the rockets out of Celadon City. I promise we will defeat them and then build a wall around the city. Biden, you demented idiot. The wall was my promise, not yours. But yes, we are going to kick those pesky rockets out of their own casino today. Are you sure you'll be able to handle yourself in there, Obama? Obama, did you hear me? Oh, Jesus Christ, he's already at a slot machine. Barack, get the fuck away from that machine. We don't even have the coin case on us. Oh, we don't need the case. I grabbed the rest of the coins and hid them in my pocket before we deposited the case in the PC. Leave me and Sammy alone. Sammy, who the fuck is Sammy? Did you find a new friend to replace Donald? If we were replacing anybody, it would be you, Sleepy Joe. But yeah, who the fuck is Sammy? You get yourself a side piece like me, about time you took my advice. No, you idiots. Sammy is the name of the slot machine. The slot machine that will win me another drone. You don't get a Pokemon anymore, Biden. We are getting two drones. But I already had the name picked out for Starmie. That's not fair. Joe, you buffoon, you just gave away your Pokemon. Now everyone will know. Oh, please, I've given like 20 hints. Everyone knew it was going to be a Starmie. The only other hints I could have given are Patrick Star and the Pokemon with a giant fucking gem in its chest. You could have just Googled my last few hints. It's going to be a Starmie, everyone, and we'll catch it when I get a super rod in a few episodes. Even though there won't be any more hints, we love that we are getting so many name suggestions. So keep the comments coming with the name you want until we add our final party member. Amen to that, Joe. We want over 100 submissions on that wheel. Keep them coming. With that said, Barack, we're going into the hideout. Let's go. You'll be fine without me. Just go. Leave me and my beautiful Sammy alone. Excuse me, what the fuck did I just hear? Barack Hussein Obama, get your ass over here right now. What was that manly voice I just heard? Is Sylvester Stallone in here? Oh no, Donald, that voice, it can only be... Fuck you, Trump, but Barack, who the fuck is... Oh God, you're gambling again. That tip Kamala gave me was right. And are you naming slot machines again? Baby, 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 it's all good, honey. Oh, me and the boys no. are just taking care of... You ain't gonna of... get out of this. Shut your mouth right now. You promised you would never gamble again. Last time it nearly tore our house apart. How bad could it have been, Michelle? A million, maybe two? Try so bad that even Phil Mickelson said, damn, you might have a problem. Holy shit, that's bad. Barack, you fucking degenerate. I'm keeping an eye on you like Biden keeps an eye on junior trainers. Don't worry, Donald. I'll keep an eye on Barack. He knows. If he tries to gamble again in my presence, I'll cut his dick off and burn it right in front of his eyes. Hey, let's change the subject. Nobody's gambling. We're just taking care of Team Rocket. So Trump, do you want to check on the analytics of our last video to see the amount of women you brought to our channel? Um, no, I'm good. Hey, Joe, do you need any help with this Raticate? Uh, no. Why would I need help with Raticate? What's wrong with you, Donald? Is there something you aren't telling us? Absolutely nothing at all. I know it worked. I just don't feel the need to brag. We need to be focused to beat all of these rocket grunts so we can get to Giovanni. Don't be silly, Joe. Okay, he's definitely hiding something. What are you guys talking about? So last episode, Donald showed us that women make up only 1.2% of our audience. He put on some smooth music and then put up topless photos of him. One of them even had Putin in it. No, it didn't. That was Putin's twin brother, uh, Vladimir. Yeah, Vladimir Putin. You guys have no concept of foreign relations. I'm just making friends before the 2024 election. Barack, please get the analytics for last video. Already on it, Joe, and oh my fucking God, this is amazing. I'm actually crying. Michelle, look at this. This is the funniest thing I've seen in a long time. Hey, Donald, should we start planning the funeral for your ego now? Imagine driving away every single woman in existence from this channel. You found a way to make it go even lower. Way to fucking go, Donald. I just checked for myself. I assure you all it's not fake. It's fake news. Fake news, I tell you. YouTube's numbers come straight from CNN and MSNBC. It's all a lie. Witch hunt. I saw plenty of women, beautiful women in fact, that commented on our last video. It had to be 50-50 easy. Goddamn liberal media. I don't know, Donald. Seems like you're downing a large dosage of copium. And you sound like a man. Fucking bullshit analytics. You can't trust them. Just look at sports. Analytics are ruining sports and they're ruining our data too. 
All right, Donald, I will admit the numbers might be off because I saw a few women comment on episode nine. So in reality, it wasn't 100 to zero, but keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth going forward. Looks like someone is going as Will Smith for Halloween. Look at you being a nice white knight with your man in our group today. Trust me, Donald, I can defend myself. You want these hands? That will scare the grunts a lot more than Joe taking down all their Pokemon. Yeah, no thanks. Those hands are the average size for an NBA player. Anyway, Joe, you've been really quiet. How you doing over there? Huh? What? I'm awake. President Biden reporting for duty. Joe, how the fuck could you have even fallen asleep? You're playing the... Wait a minute, is that team viewer? Is a member of Secret Service playing video games for you again? Of course not. I just left it open. They were helping me earlier install a new web browser. Bullshit, Biden. It literally says another user is controlling your computer. You better hope this is some scammer trying to get your bank account info. I'm turning this off right now. I mean, I don't think it would be better for some scammer halfway across the world to have access to the White House bank account. But Donald, when did this happen before? In 2020, the White House decided to have a government Super Smash Brothers melee tournament Everyone from the Senate, the House, and even former politicians were invited to enter. In the final, it was me against Sleepy Joe. I was dominating all of my opponents. I had only dropped one match in the best of five against Ted Cruz in the semifinal. I noticed Biden got swept in the first round by John Fetterman of all people, but then went on to run straight through the loser's bracket to the grand final. It made no sense. Anyway, I felt very confident. It was then, in the grand final, I get swept thanks to the endless grab combo from Ice Climbers. It was humiliating, probably the biggest reason I lost in 2020. After the tournament, I went over to Biden's monitor and saw that AOC was controlling his emulator through TeamViewer. Nobody believed me, but that bitch literally made a fool of me to make Biden look good. Biden, did you two actually do that? I know you won, but holy shit, that's amazing. No wonder AOC said she couldn't play that day. To quote my good friend Donnie, I plead the fifth. Well, that's absolutely hilarious and get fucked, Trump. Joe, how did you lose to Fetterman? He literally makes less coherent sentences than you. I've never played Smash Bros before. All the pros of that already stole all the under 18 girls. I was just spamming Falcon Kick. And every time I fell off the stage, I couldn't recover. Spare me, I won that tournament fucking AOC. Great dodgeball reference there, Donald. However, you're a little bit fatter than Ben Stiller in that scene. So it was pretty insulting to his character. Donald, are you making it your mission to get cooked on the daily? If so, you're doing a fantastic job. I need some new friends. You guys suck. Oh, relax, you orange sourpuss. We're just fucking with you. How you feeling right now, Joe? Do you remember how to get through the game corner? The way you said game corner sounded pretty sus -barack. Do I need to get Joe's child leash? Of course not, I'm clean, baby. Anyway, Joe, back to my earlier question. How are you doing without Team Viewer Active? The trainers are really easy if I'm being honest with you. We've done such a good job leveling up our team that we have a counter for everything they have. I'm thinking the entire team could be around level 29 by the time we get to the Pokemon Tower. I'm really happy that I don't have to play that episode. What's wrong, Joe? Scared of a few ghosts? Stop being such a baby. I'm gonna go right through that tower, no problem. Of course it's scary. Didn't you see the anime, Ash and Pikachu died? They literally fucking died? Can you imagine that happening in the lame shit they put on the moving picture box for kids today? While Biden is being a little bitch, he's right. The anime was so much better back in the day considered to today, I know there will always be an endless debate for everybody's favorite generation, but the anime ain't a discussion. I remember somebody told me they thought the season Ash was in school, even though he had like 40 plus badges. To his name was better than his adventures in Kanto. Keep it on the hush, but I had Secret Service take that man to Guantanamo. I mean, I only watched the anime because Barack said he would leak my pregnancy photos if I didn't. But my favorite was Diamond and Pearl. Paul just had that attitude I wish Obama would have sometimes. The fuck you mean by that? You saying I don't have that mindset of doing whatever it takes? I'd smoke that little edge, Lord. If that were true, we might have more than two kids. Holy shit, Manchel with the death blow. Rest in piss, Barack. And I also have to agree with Michelle about the Diamond and Pearl anime being the best. Gary was amazing, but Paul was the best rival for the reason he not only destroyed Ash's confidence during their full battle, but laid the foundation for best Pokemon League finish at the time. 
while Infernap definitely had some plot armor in that battle with Electivir, that final battle between Ash and Paul was top five ever in the series. And yes, I know he won the Orange League, but that shit doesn't count. Also, Tracy was in that season, so auto F tier dog shit and didn't matter. That's actually a based as fuck take, Donald. You almost made me change my mind for best anime. I'm going with Generation 6's anime with the X, Y, and Z seasons. It was the first time Ash's team had a clear focus outside Pikachu with Ash Greninja. And of course, the best partner for Ash in the series. Joe, please don't tell me you're saying that because a child kissed Ash, right? I mean, obviously that's why. Everyone loves to nope, see that nope, type nope. of- Nope, nope, We're not going there, Joe. We're trying to hit 1,000 subs before we get banned. Anyway, it's finally my turn. And obviously, the best anime was in Generation 1. The introduction to the series, the greatest trio in the history of the series, and let's be real. The series was so great, that's literally why we have this game right now. Kanto is forever unmatched. Spoken like a true Gen 1-er Obama, but I will say that series is obviously second best. The animation was golden, the battles were great, and it triggered so many people that they had to ban episodes. The Clint Eastwood character who held Ash at gunpoint is easily the greatest character in the history of the series. My favorite band episode was the one where they were on the beach and James had the fake. Joe, Joe shut, shut the, the fuck, fuck up. up. Don't, Don't you dare, dare finish, finish that, that sentence, sentence you demented, you demented fuck. fuck. Why were you guys so quick to stop Joe right there? I've never heard you two in sync before as well. Barak, explain. Um, no reason, none at all. Just thought poor Joe would say something about kids that would hurt the chances of him running in 2024. Yep, that's totally it. Sure, Barack, I totally believe you. You do? I mean, of course you do. It's the truth. Why wouldn't you? Yeah, not a chance. Donald, tell me what you're hiding right now, or Barack can't play with you guys anymore. You mean I would actually get a gym battle? See ya, Barack. Been really fun. Joe and I can finish off this run. See ya later, buddy. All right, I'm just looking this up. Pokemon James Beach, fake, oh my fucking God, you three are some sick fucks. This episode didn't just deserve to be banned, but burned in the bowels of hell so that it may never see the light of day. That shit is just wrong, man, it's wrong. Oh yeah, Michelle, I knew that and I was just hiding it from you. Shame on you, Joe, that's just awful of you, shame. Oh, fuck you, Barack. You're the one who showed me that episode, and I quote you said, Hey, Biden, you got to check out this band episode. It, it's my guilty pleasure since there are features I could only wish Michelle had. Oh, look who has a fucking memory now. Fuck you, Joe. Things Obama said about James for 2000, Alex. Trump, I'm going to beat your ass if you don't shut your mouth. Are we finishing the entire category? Because that's the $1,600 answer. Okay, I've had enough. I'm out of here. Barack, I'm filing for divorce, taking the house, and finally marrying my purple hair, Prince Paul. You can keep the kids and their student debt. Peace out, bitches. Michelle, wait, come back. I can't afford that student debt without your book sales. Malia went to Harvard for fuck's sake. Harvard. God damn it, she's gone. I'm single again. Thanks a lot, Joe. I know I'm sorry. We have to buy wedding gifts now. Someone bring up the registry. I'm just getting the cheapest thing on there. Joe, I don't think we're going to be invited, buddy. Really? Oh man, I wanted cake. And Paul probably would have had a speech where he called Barack pathetic like he was Ash. Do either of you two even care that my wife just left me? Even the slightest bit of remorse? No, not really. I don't care that much about people not named Donald John Trump. I honestly forgot what we were talking about. Why am I not surprised? I guess it's my destiny to be stuck with you two assholes forever. Oh, come on, Obama. It could be worse. Your gaming group could be with Clinton and Cheney. Yeah, or you could hang out with a pedophile and a fat orange egotistic asshole. Yep, Cheney and Clinton would still be worse. All right, guys, I'll just stick to the positives, I guess. Nothing really else I can do now. That's the spirit Obama. Maybe later, me and you can hit the clubs in Saffron City, and I can show you some of the big Don's moves. We both could find ourselves a new beautiful lady. Donald, you have a wife. What are you talking about? Find a new lady. Obama, it's Donald. Did you really need to ask that question? He trades in women like leased cars. Obama, I'm a billionaire. I do what I want and when I want. Here, let's teach you one of my moves. I call it the Trump University. I walk up to a woman and say, hey baby, you want the best night of your life before they realize when we get back to my place, she gets nothing she was promised, but I still get what I wanted. Works every time. You really need to stop defrauding people, Donald. That's awful. Give it a chance, Obama. Things were getting stale with Jill. So I asked Donald for some tips. He showed me his favorite move the wall where you literally build a brick wall in the middle of the bed, all the way up to the ceiling. And it made Jill want me so bad. 
now that she couldn't have me. Well done, my star pupil. But the real question is, did you use the art of the deal afterwards to secure future bedroom time? Well, obviously, it was literally a guarantee because she didn't want me to construct another brick wall in the bedroom. Easiest deal I ever made. You see, Obama, I would never put you in a bad spot. Just look at Joe. He gets even more action than you now. My entire life is in shambles right now. Can we please just skip to the elevator since you got the lift key? Yeah, sure, Obama, we can do that. I know you and Donald have some ladies in Saffron City to get to after we have taken care of the pest problem here. I don't remember what awaits us up here. Well, first we have to deal with Jesse and James, and then we have to deal with Giovanni. Jesse and James? Who the heck are they? I've never seen these people before in my life. Biden, you can't be serious. These are the guys Obama nearly blinded you over when you forgot who they were at Mount Moon. Please don't bring this up again. Jesse and James? Oh, you mean Butch and Cassidy. Yeah, we kicked their ass back at Mount Moon. Easy clap, let's do it again. Joe, run for the door, I'll hold him back. Barack, don't you? Oh, wait, he's still crying in the corner. I don't think he even heard you. Wow, you got lucky with that one, Joe. <laughs> wait a minute, I know that song. Oh boy, here we go. Michelle Pantasy, when I was blind, I'll do anything. You can't draw my. More than a wife, you're my best friend. Too cool to forget I'm that, cause we are family. And forgive me for making you wanna roam. And now my heart is beating like the saddest metronome. Somewhere I hope you're reading my latest three-word poem. Michelle, hope come home. Oh my God, that was so beautiful, Barack. You made me cry too. God damn it, Barack. I demand. I demand you sell me the rights to that right now. I'll make a fortune. That was so beautiful and sad. And you even found an 8-bit version of the song because we're playing Pokemon Yellow. Oh, don't ever say we didn't do anything for you fans for the 10th episode. It's just what my heart was feeling. But there's only one person who I want to hear that song. And she's already gone. Barack? Yes, Michelle? I'm still going with Paul. Get the oh, fuck, fuck out of you, my Michelle, office, you, you heartless bitch. bitch. You're you an enemy of the Barack. state now. I just don't know what to say. Here's what you say. Forget her. She didn't deserve you, Barack. We got your back and we'll never leave your side. No matter what we may say during these videos, no matter what we say to the press about politics, we're best friends. The 44th to the 46th will always stick together. We love you, buddy. Deep down, I always knew that. It just feels really great to hear out loud sometimes. I love you too, guys. Now, what do you say we wrap up episode 10 the right way? You got it, buddy. Let me just turn off Team Viewer and we'll finish off Giovanni. Oh, Biden, you senile bastard never changed. Was this seriously the best Giovanni had to offer? Pokemon only marginally stronger than all of the grunts in here? Yeah, the Persian is level 29, but that's nothing for our team. Just about everybody is level 29, so I'm going to have Pikachu finish him off for us. Hell yeah, Joe, you said it. We've grown such a great team that George doesn't get all the time to shine that he deserves. Let's have him take down this kitty. He should just hand us the scope now. Imagine using a guard spec on the turn before death. The old man is losing it. The eighth badge will be a cakewalk at this rate. And just like that, we're done with the Rocket Game Corner. Way to go, Joe and Secret Service via TeamViewer. We're one step closer on our journey. Don't forget, Donald, we're actually not done yet. When we get off the elevator, there's always that last grunt who has no idea the operation has been foiled and tries to battle us. You would think he got the message, but they must really not care about him. Oh well, more free experience and more recording time with the boys. Works for me. This last grunt, is like the Biden of Team Rocket. Has no idea what's going on and just interacts with people to interact. 
We were never going to get through this episode being completely wholesome, were we? Obviously not, Joe. Now kick Rocket Biden's ass and let's get out of here. Sounds good to me. Watch him be the actual final boss of this area, and Giovanni is just a puppet. I mean, that would be one hell of a twist. But seeing he has only two Pokemon and started with a level 22, yeah, I don't think so. Honestly, Joe. I wish that was how it played out. You would think you took care of everything, and bam, here comes four level 30 Pokemon ready to kick your ass. We should have wrote the script for this game. Not going to lie with all the coughings that are in here. I would have thought a few of them would use self-destruct on us. We got really lucky with that. I mean, we were prepared and bought plenty of revives before the episode since we knew you were playing. And we did use most of the TM moves we had stashed away in the PC on some of our Pokemon, just in case any of you didn't notice. And now, we're finally done with this place. Great job as always, Joe. To be honest, you've been arguably our best player to this point. Oh, thanks, Barack. How about you take the money we won down here over to the slots and have some fun? You deserve it. That does sound like a great idea, but I have other plans already. And what might that be, Barack? Well, if I remember correctly, I think a certain someone invited this bachelor out to the clubs in Saffron City. Maybe teach me a few of his moves. You've got a lot to learn, but we've got all the time in the world to teach you. Ain't any other way I'd want it. That's gonna wrap it up for episode 10, everybody. Thank you so much for being with us up to this point. We never knew if the series would have actually made it 10 episodes, but it's the support and kind messages that keep us going. You all are the best community on YouTube, and we couldn't be more grateful to have you. 10 down, and who knows how many to go. See you next week, everyone. Happy Thursday at 12 p.m. Eastern, everybody, and welcome to the President's Play Pokemon Yellow episode 11. It's the Pokemon Tower episode today as we will battle some crazy people and release a spirit into the afterlife. Aside from the maniac on the couch over here, we're going to talk to all of the NPCs we see in Lavender Town because in the red, blue, and yellow games, the storyline here was the darkest in any Pokemon game ever made. They tell the story of how truly evil Team Rocket was. For those of you who don't know, Team Rocket invaded the Pokemon Tower to steal Cubone skulls so they could sell them for a large profit. One of the Cubone was protected by its mother, however, and it was killed by Team Rocket as its child escaped. The spirit of the Marowak remains in the tower to prevent unwanted guests from reaching the top floor. Even I would never go to those lengths to make a profit. It's going to make kicking their ass in Saffron City even sweeter. But for now, we need to do the most important thing we've done this series and help release that spirit into the afterlife so it can rest peacefully. It's insane how Game Freak designed this game to go from a casino to this topic. But regardless, we got a job to do, boys. First up, though, is Donald's shirtless horseback riding partner. For the last fucking time, Barack, I told you that was his twin brother, Vladimir. I thought you said his twin brother's name was Vladimir. It is! I meant to say that. I don't care about those Russians. Why should I bother remembering their names? What's with all these questions? This isn't the time for questions. I'm trying to win this battle, damn it! Leave me alone! Witch hunt, I tell you! Someone sounds a little defensive there, Donald. Don't worry. You can ride horses with Vlad after the episode again. Oh, fuck you, Barack. Things Donald said to Putin for 1,000 Alex. There's gonna be two more fucking graves in this tower by the time this episode is over. Oh, quit crying, Donnie. Anyway, what's the strategy against our fake rival? I'm going to truly flex on his bitch ass this fight. He's got five Pokemon. We got five Pokemon, so I'm going to knock out each one of his Pokemon with a different one of ours. I'm going to go full Paul on him and beat him worse than Ash got beat at Lake Acuity. Trump, come on, man. My bad, Barack. I didn't realize you were still upset. I saw you dancing with that ace trainer, and then I saw you take her back to your hotel room, so I thought you were over it. I mean, I did, but I don't know. It just didn't feel right, you know? I remember my first time with a woman back in 1827, so I totally get why it didn't feel right, Barack. We didn't have any of Trump's fancy moves back then, so it was really strange and awkward. Nothing like today. Joe, I literally taught you those moves like three weeks ago. Are you saying it only hasn't been awkward for that long? Basically, yeah. Wow, I never realized how low standards Jill had in that department. 
Anyway, Obama, it's never going to be easy moving on, but you need to be happy. You still got some game. Those ace trainers don't go for just anyone. You really think so? You don't think she just felt bad for me? No way, buddy. I drank so much, I don't remember half of the night. But from what I remember, you did really well. Joe, you had two apple juices. What are you talking about? You didn't get drunk. I had two? Oh, man, I really let myself go. I mean, if that's my competition, I guess I have to be top of the class. Maybe I'm ready to move on. Maybe I can set my sights on my dream girl in Kanto. That's the spirit, Barack. Who is it? Oh, I can't say it. You guys are going to make fun of me. Unlike Putin's Pokemon, you're safe, Obama. Just tell us who it is. Well, all right, but you guys have to promise not to tell. She was actually at the club last night, but I was just too afraid to talk to her. It's that green-haired beauty, Sabrina. Ha, huh, Biden, you owe me five bucks. Pay up, bitch. God damn it. Fine, here you go. I should have known it was her. Thanks a lot, Barack. Wait, you guys bet on my dream girl. But how? We saw you staring blindly at the bar at either Sabrina or Misty. I knew it would be Sabrina because you ain't the dom in a relationship. Easiest five bucks I ever made. I really have to stop making these side bets when I'm absolutely plastered on apple juice. I bet against Sabrina because we all know you loved Michael and Misty is such a tomboy. But yeah, I guess the dommy mommy beats that. Now I won't be able to afford that ice cream later. I need to really make some changes. Okay then. Well, good to know you guys are betting on my heart. But yeah, there's no way she would ever go for me. Oh, please, Barack, you just need to believe in yourself. Look at it like this. We face Sabrina in like four episodes or something. You need to get your confidence up. And when the time comes, take your shot. Sounds good, Donald. It's time for me to build my confidence up. Who dare up and enter make... the tower? Be gone, you trespassers. Holy Jesus shit, it's Christ. an actual ghost. Fuck? Oh, hey, Lizzie. Long time no see. How you been? My oh my. If it isn't the United... Hey, wait a minute. What the fuck are you doing? Donald, why did you attack the Queen? What the fuck is wrong with you? Joe, I saw a fucking ghost and I attacked. You can't blame me for that. God fucking damn it, Donald. That hurt. I'll haunt you for that, you bitch. Well, I'm sorry, Elizabeth. Maybe next time you don't sneak up on people like that. What are you even doing here anyway? Well, after I passed away, I became a ghastly. I think I deserved at least a haunter. I think I got cheated here. Would you mind being our guide through this tower, Your Majesty? We're trying to calm the spirit of the Marowak and get Mr. Fuji home safely. As long as you keep your orange menace at bay, I would be delighted to help. Anything for you, my sweet Joey. Uh, why did you call him your sweet Joey, if you don't mind me asking, Elizabeth? Well, now that I'm a ghost, I suppose I don't have anything to hide. Joey and I spent quite a lot of private time in Buckingham Palace, if you know what I mean. I knew there was a reason you always begged me to go to England with me whenever I had to go for diplomatic meetings, Joe. I just had no idea what it was until now. Sleepy Joe rizzed up the queen. I definitely did not have that on my 2023 bingo card. Oh, well, I still just need secret Matt Getz and Lauren Boebert relationship to get my bingo. I'm confident. That's seriously all you need? Damn, I'm gonna lose. I got a lot of help with Kevin James relevance, but I still need Russia and Ukraine truce, as well as an official release target for Grand Theft Auto 6. Yeah, you're cooked there, Joe. Neither of those things are happening. Since I got the Twins winning a playoff game last week, all I need is Biden to kick the bucket so I'm so close to victory. Might as well shred my board right now then if that's all you need. But Elizabeth, can you tell me why all of these old ladies have lost their mind even more than Biden? The popular theory is that they are possessed by the ghosts they use to battle. And I guess that makes sense because they go back to normal after they are defeated. Game Freak really didn't pull any punches with the darkness in this town. Since we're here, Biden, you should pick which of these trainers you want to haunt when you become a ghastly next week. Is nobody going to say that was out of line or something? I mean, he's probably not wrong, Joey. I don't think you're going to make it to 140. Bingo card, Joe. Sorry, man, but priorities. I mean, I guess the card does come first. Those $5 on the line are huge. Speaking of you hanging in there, Joe, how you doing? I know you were more terrified than our editor when he has to go to the doctor and any type of needle is involved about coming to this tower. Yeah, are we done yet? I think we did what we needed to do. Mission completed, right, everyone? All right, cool. Let's go catch my starmy. Biden, we're on the fourth floor. Plenty more trainers to go, buddy. You can do it. Just hang in there. Are you afraid of me, Joey? I'm one of those spooky ghosts after all. I'm going to get you. Ooh! Oh my God, the queen is going after us now. Drone, Arnold, somebody do something. I was just kidding, Joseph. I would never hurt you, and I'll make sure all of these other spirits don't hurt you either. I think it's incredibly noble to be doing what you all are doing. 
It's not like you're only doing this to get an item that wakes up a large object blocking your path. Of course we're not doing this for something like that. The United States is once again coming to the aid of anybody in need without expecting anything in return. Seems a little suspicious coming from you, Donald. But I'll take your word for it. Be on your guard, though, because the spirits become more fearsome as we continue. What should we expect, Your Majesty? Well, I don't know for sure because I have no desire to go up there. But I have heard rumors that the spirits of some bad people are up there. I'll do my best to protect you, but be on your guard. Thanks, Queen, but have you seen our team and who is leading them this battle? I won't let a single one of our Pokémon fall against these pathetic spirits. I'll send them all to the afterlife myself. That's some big talk, Donald. Recently, your play has been pretty mid, to say the least. Seems like a Pokémon always faints when it's your turn. Mid, coming from you. Give it a rest, Obama. I'm the very best like no one ever was. Last time I checked, I've won three badges, and you've won how many exactly? Oh, that's right, zero. You act like I chose to go second. Congrats on all gym battles happening on your turn. And you nearly fumbled the bag against Erica. Your insistence on drone getting XP left that victory up to pure chance. And if you want to go back further, congrats on Misty not using Bubble Beam. You're the liability of this team, Obama, not me. Guys, please don't fight. It's scary enough in here. Stay out of this, Joe. Just hang out with the queen for a minute. And holy shit. Why do our Pokémon always have an IQ of negative five when I play? Stop hitting yourselves, for fuck's sake! Come now, Donald. It's only a level 22 Ghastly. Let's see some of that leadership you always speak about. Arnold and I are going to need to have a talk after this episode. I know we haven't been using him much because he was so over-leveled, but this performance was pathetic. He's lacking that killer instinct he once had. I blame you goons for not using him enough. Stop making excuses, Donald. If you need some tips, I can teach you after this episode. The old man goes on a small hot streak, and now he thinks he's red. I'm sorry, Biden, did you want to play in the Pokemon Tower? Here, take the controller. No, you can keep playing. It's just that I was... Yeah, that's what I thought. Now sit down and let me work. Jesus Christ, I've had it from both of you. Take a breath, Donald. He's only trying to help. You need to control that anger, young man. Okay, I'm sorry, Donald. You're right. I shouldn't be backseat gaming you right now. You've been really good this session. I guess just part of me wants to get out of this creepy tower as well, and seeing that one battle go on for so long just made me a little jumpy. I can understand that Obama and I accept your apology. Arnold hitting himself twice when he was confused also just got me on edge. I have so much faith in our team, and to see them do something wrong just makes me furious. Oh, look at you three. It seems like you guys have really become good friends after I passed away. I couldn't even imagine all of you being in the same room and getting along before this. It's almost as if the only way it could happen was if there was this software where our voices could be generated through text to appear we are all friendly with each other. Imagine something like that existing, ha ha ha. Oh man, that's a good one. Anyway, it really is nice when Rock Slide hits. If there's anything that will influence this new generation on percentages, it's Pokemon games. If it isn't 100%, there's that instant PTSD to these games to influence decision making. I know we really didn't have another Pokemon to put it on, but yeah, I hate any move that isn't guaranteed. When it hits, it's great, but when it misses, it seems like the floodgates always open for the opponent. I actually played on the OU ladder in Pokemon Showdown back in Generation 4. And I can't tell you how many monitors I threw off my desk when a stone edge missed. It says 80%, but you're lucky if it hits two out of five times. It's bullshit. I know the feel of that. I also ran a sandstorm team and never had faith using that move. Holy shit, we actually got a hit off when confused. It's a Christmas fucking miracle. But Donald, it's October. It's not Christmas. Yes, Joe, I realize it's not Christmas. I'm just saying... You know what? Never mind, I can't even. I'm so close to the end of this tower. I just need to keep focusing. Wait a minute, Elizabeth. What was your username on Showdown? I know there was always someone in the top five with the username XXTheQueen420XX. Was that you? Top five? Bitch, I was always top three at the worst. Put some respect on my name. And yeah, that was me. I ran that ladder like I ran England. I remember that username as well. You always wrecked my spikes, team. Jill didn't let me buy a new PC for a month after I smashed my tower, screaming, fuck you, XX, the queen 420XX. Oh my god, you were actually Big Bad Biden 69. Little bro, you had no idea how to run that strategy. It's Gen 4. Just use a sandstorm team like any other human with a functioning brain. 
Is this real life? Once again, I get a hit off when confused. Holy shit, I might play the lottery tonight. I could use that $1.5 billion to pay for my lawyer's fees. Not the best area for him to level up, seeing his strongest moves don't affect ghost Pokemon. But good job getting him to 30 despite that. Nice job, Donald. What can I say? I'm just that amazing. Now it's George's turn to shine, and after this trainer, only one floor to go. Oh, is Bush here as well? I always liked that goofball. And I can't tell you how many times I died laughing at the video of the shoes being thrown at him. It was just simply hilarious. No, he's not here with us, Lizzie, but we named our Pikachu after him since he wouldn't be able to join us during this run because of his new job. I haven't heard from him in a while, so I hope he's all right. He's doing good Biden. I actually just called him the other week to make fun of the Cowboys losing to the Cardinals. Maybe we'll be able to see him again soon. I hope so. I also hope it's on my turn so I can make up for my play last time we saw him. I still lose sleep at night letting Pikachu faint in his presence. I'm gonna believe in George here. I know he fainted once when I used him because he hit himself when confused, but he'll do the job this time. Maybe you should switch him out, Donald. This doesn't look good. No way, I believe in him. He learned from last time. He won't let confusion. Are you fucking kidding me? No, 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 he's gonna faint and, oh wait, just kidding, he survived. We're finishing this off. Let's go, buddy. Shake off that confusion and take down that haunter. George has got that fucking dog in him, boys. Holy shit, you nearly gave me a heart attack there, Donald. That play was beyond reckless and stupid. We are so fucking lucky that Haunter didn't use Nightshade right there. Donald, you have to use your head, man. That would have been the second time you let George faint like that. Good thing Haunter's physical stat is absolute dog water. I literally went down the list of your misplays earlier, so don't even bring up the whole lucky that move wasn't used garbage. As Al Davis said, just win, baby, win. The way they bicker about the way they play makes it look like you're the best player of this group, Joey. Is that actually true? Through 10 sessions, Biden probably has been our best player. As much as I hate to admit it hasn't been me, it's been an absolute masterclass when Joe plays. While I have to concede Biden has been the best so far, I'm close behind and I'll be on top when the dust settles. The toughest battles are coming up and I got that clutch gene these guys don't have. I never would have thought Big Bad Biden 69 would ever have become good at Pokemon. Color me impressed. Maybe when we're both in this realm, I'll give you a rematch, Joey. Since Sandstorm teams aren't the meta nowadays, I'm sure I could beat you no problem, Lizzie. Bring it on. If we're taking bets on this, I want a million on the queen. I heard stories about her battling on Showdown, and she's ruthless. I don't know about that one, Trump. Joe has been really improving, and I think he could take her in a best of three. Well, I guess we'll have to put that to the test one day, my friends. We are almost to the end of our journey, however. You guys have done a fantastic job helping all of the channelers up to this point. What can I say? I truly am an amazing person. Only two channelers left, and then we are able to get to the top floor. This is only a taste of things to come, boys. Get used to seeing only excellence when I take the stage going forward. Speaking of future episodes, I have a question for you, Barack. How do you plan to handle episode 12? There are two paths to Fuchsia City. Are you going to go down both of them? One of them, what are you thinking? That's a great question, Joe. I definitely plan on battling all the trainers on both routes to level the team up as much as possible. But the way we do it will come down to you, the audience. For the first time, we're letting you decide how we play. Right now, on the community tab of our channel, we have a poll up asking if you want us to have episode 12 as an episode of Battling All the Trainers or if you want another montage and we go straight to the Safari Zone. We will go with whatever poll option is leading at noon this Sunday. Vote now and let your voice be heard. The vote is super close right now and it could go either way. Every vote matters. So please make sure you vote. If we get a ton of votes and this ends up being liked, we may do this again. Also one more thing, next episode, no matter what, we will be catching my Starmie. This is your last chance to get your vote in for its name as well. We started asking for name guesses on episode six. So if you want a chance to name Starmy, you can comment Starmy dash your name. Guess on episode six through 11. You can have up to six chances on the wheel. We want to have over 100 entries on this wheel and it will be your last chance to get a chance at naming a Pokemon. So make your voice be heard on all of our audience input opportunities. Well said, Joe. And with that, we are on to the marrow whack. And this is something we will take with a very sensitive approach. For those of you that are unfamiliar with this battle, when you have the scope you take on a level 30 Marowak, 
and when you defeat or catch it, its spirit goes on to the afterlife. But there also is a speed running strategy that if you use a poke doll, you can skip getting the scope and you can just end the battle. We will throw Joe's favorite stuffed animal out and end the battle in a peaceful manner. This is one fight we don't want the experience from. Oh, come on. Did you really have to use Mr. Wiggles? We couldn't have used anything else. For fuck's sake, man, now I need a new stuffed animal to sleep with. I thank you, Donald Trump, for not allowing any more harm to this spirit. Now that the deed has been done, I will take my leave and assist anyone else who is in need of help. Goodbye, gentlemen, and good luck on the rest of your journey. Rest easy, Elizabeth. It was great to see you again. Now, Donald, we have one more fight left in this video. Jesse and James need to pay for what they've done here. Let's destroy them worse than ever before. Hell yeah, Obama. What Team Rocket did in this tower can never be justified, and I intend on sending them off crying for mercy. These guys surely are gluttons for punishment. We beat them last episode, and here they are asking to be taken down again. Well, since they asked so kindly, we really should oblige. Fly really does pack a punch with Blackhawk. That stab really makes him viable finally. And with his evolution around the corner, he should be a real pain in the rear end for our opponents. I know we have a lot of people asking for Aerodactyl. And while he might have better base stats in attack and speed, we already have a viable option. And we aren't power leveling a Pokemon from five that we get in Cinnabar Island to about level 40. Believe in Blackhawk. That's the only thing I need to hear. He's our boy, and we've had him since episode two. There's something about the sentimental value when it comes to me, and I could never even dream of replacing him. Just look at him taking down Jesse and James's newly evolved Pokemon like it's nothing. So Trump, how does it feel to do something wholesome for once in your life? You did a really good thing today for everyone in Lavender Town. Joe, I'm the most charitable person you could ever meet. All I do is good and wholesome things for the general public. But honestly, it does feel good. I know this is just a video game, but the topics are still really dark. When you're a kid, you might not fully understand everything, but as an adult, you really can get into the story. It was really hard to make jokes in this episode because we wanted to remain respectful, like I said, even though it is a video game. Well said, Trump. And once we take down their wheezing, we can bring Mr. Fuji back home. Since we have everyone at level 30 and the entire team got to level up this episode, I want to get R. Kelly as many levels as possible. He's going to be our ace against Koga in the fighting dojo. He needs to be the priority for now. That's definitely the route we need to follow. The only gym we really don't have an answer for right now is Sabrina. We're just going to have to go in there with an all-out offensive and hope our physical attacks can overwhelm those glass cannons. Starmie very well may be our ace in the final three gyms just because of type alone. And with that, everyone, that will be the final fight of this episode. Thank you so much for stopping by for episode 11. Don't forget to vote in the poll for what you want us to do in episode 12. You all are the reason we're here and got to 1,000 subs. So we want to make sure that you all have input in this series as well. And don't forget to put your vote in for Starmie's name from every episode from 6 through 11. Thanks again for stopping by, everyone. We can't wait to see you for the next one. And before we sign off, everyone, we just have an important message for all of you. On this past Monday, our editor CJ got back surgery. Everything is going to be fine, and it wasn't major. But because of this, he is going to take an extra week to recover, and there will not be an episode next Thursday. He will try to get a smaller episode out in the meantime, but the next Pokemon Yellow episode will be out on October 26th. Have a great day, everyone. We'll see you next time. What's up, everybody? And welcome back to President's Play Pokemon Yellow. After the extra week off, it's time for episode 12 and the addition of our final party member. A quick message from the editor. He wants to thank all of you for the well wishes. It was a rough couple of days after the surgery, but overall, he's doing much better and we will be back to weekly uploads of this series. With that out of the way, it's time to decide the name for the Mewtwo we catch this episode. Biden, for the 12 millionth time, you wanted a star me. We aren't catching a Mewtwo, you demented fool. Well, hopefully the wheel lands on one of the names where people put Mewtwo. I know it's probably going to be Patrick seeing all the SpongeBob fans in here, but here's hoping. One of our fans put a heartwarming message in the comments wanting Caitlin to be the name, so that's what I'm rooting for. Honestly, 
I'm rooting for one of the many Patrick submissions so his Pokemon gets the name of someone who matches his IQ. Biden spun my wheel, so I'm spinning his wheel. Let's go, Patrick. Yes, yes, yes. Muta one, the next best thing to catching one. I love you, Mass Kunk known 37. That's actually a funny play on words, but Biden, that says me too. It's the movement for women. Don't who tell were... him, Barack. Let him believe what he wants to believe. I'm more than satisfied the world champion hair sniffer gets this name. Well, then it looks like we're all in agreement. Welcome to the team, you too. Okay, Barack, it's your turn to play, so if you don't mind catching our final team member and leveling him up, I would really appreciate that. You truly are a lovable idiot, Joe. Patrick really would have been the perfect name. Before we continue, we just want to give a huge thank you to everyone who contributed to all of our name raffles over the past six episodes. We hit our goal of 100 suggestions on the wheel with a total of 103. That really means a lot to all of us at the channel when it comes to that level of participation. A real talk, that is a crazy number. I also want to take a minute to thank Mimic193 for being the first person to ever use a super thanks on our channel. It really is appreciated. We will also be rolling out channel membership soon, once we can figure out some good rewards as well, getting some badges and emojis made. That might take some time, but we'll get that all figured out as soon as we can. Obama, how much time until we can catch Star U? I just can't wait. I've waited the longest, and I have a mighty need for my team member. Calm down, Invader Zim. There's a few trainers to go through, and then we need to take down the Snorlax, which is an absolute tank. In terms of HP, going to be a few minutes there, bud. Yeah, Joe, you can even take a nap if you want to. There's a ton of trainers on the way to Fuchsia City because the difficulty absolutely spikes after Celadon City. Your team really needs to beef up to take on the next few gyms. Nap, you say? Don't have to tease me with a good time. Wake me up when it's time to catch Mewtwo. Joe, for the last time, it's me too. It's not, you know what, fuck it, never mind. Who cares? Take your nap and let me focus on the game. Someone seems a little grumpy. Did you wake up on the wrong side of the bed, Obama? Do we need to call Dr. Phil again to deal with your outbursts? Donald, with where I'm at in the game, I think it would be very wise to not egg me on. And what's that supposed to mean? Are the level 28 to 30 Pokemon going to be too much for you? Maybe it's time to make me the full-time player of our run and I can lead us to unprecedented glory. All right, Donald, you asked for it. Don't say I didn't warn you. Hey, who the fuck played that flute? It's two in the afternoon. Some of us are trying to sleep. Oh, good afternoon, Joe. Sorry your nap got cut short. Obama is being very rude. As you can tell, having no consideration for your sleep schedule as well as giving me some cryptic warnings. Yeah, I barely got any sleep there. But what do you mean by cryptic messages? He's saying it wouldn't be wise to egg him on with where he's at in the game or something. Our team is more than able to take down anyone in their path. No idea what he's crying about. Where he's at in the game, where is he? Oh, um, Donnie, I think I might know what he's talking about. Maybe you shouldn't make him mad right here. Am I the only one who doesn't see this Snorlax as the end of days? Our entire team is on its level. This isn't a challenge. What could ever had lead you guys to this lack of confidence? Also, Obama, why did you bring in Drone? You have Arnold with double kick. Use your head. Trust me, Donald. I know exactly what I'm doing right here. Don't worry in the slightest. And now it's sleeping again. Holy shit, we should just name this episode Obama Fight Snorlax. We're gonna be here all day. I'm gonna be the one to take a nap next. I will admit it's tankier than I thought, so maybe bringing Arnold in wouldn't kill it in one shot. Why wouldn't you wanna take it out in one shot? The only way would be, Barack, are you trying to catch it? That means you would have to give up drone. Now, I really know you've lost your mind. This divorce is breaking you. We need a lot more than Dr. Phil. Oh, I'm not replacing drones. Snorlax won't be on our team. I'm just doing this for the meme. And there it is. Do you finally see it now, Trump? Oh, I get it. That's hilarious, Obama. You're going to name it Sleepy Joe after Biden. I can't believe I didn't see it earlier. You really had me going there. Why are you guys so quiet? Hey, wait a minute. You're naming him after me. That's just uncalled for Obama. How dare you? I'm not fat. I'm just cultivating mass so that I can turn it into pure muscle. You twigs would never understand. I told you not to egg me on Trump, but don't worry. Since I'm such a nice guy, I put the exclamation points on your Pokemon for you. 
You're a very mean man, Mr. Obama. I have nothing more to say to you. Oh, get over it, Trump. You've said and done a lot worse things to him. It was a joke, and we won't even be using that Snorlax in this run. I will be a good teammate, unlike some people, and not personally attack other team members. Now let's just get past this last trainer so that we can get the super rod. That's the spirit, Trump. We need us all fighting together in this war, and oh man, this might not be good. Oh my God, you let George faint again. What the fuck, Obama? You're more of a goddamn liability than your counterpart in Game Producer 6's universe. What happened to being a good teammate and not attacking other team members? Give me a break. He made his Pokemon commit unalive, and it was a critical hit as well. And he had his only other Pokemon do the same thing. What the fuck is wrong with this guy? Does he hate his Pokemon or something? We easily just found the worst trainer in the history of this game. I'm going to make some calls and get this guy arrested. Did he just say unplugged? More like I unplugged my own fucking team. I will admit that was really messed up. The scary part is who knows how many times he has done that. Let's just get away from this maniac and get the super rod. Do either of you remember where we catch the starfish? We actually have to go all the way back to Pallet Town because we can't get to the Seafoam Islands yet. We really have to go back to where we started. Thanks for that one. Joe, we'll never get to Fuchsia City at this rate. Oh, it won't be so bad, Donald. We can take the shortcut through Diglett's Cave and take care of it no problem. We can even say hi to Mom and Professor Oak. To be fair, I don't think Oak wants to see us since we have completely neglected to fill the Pokedex. I'm with Donald on this one. Let's get Staryu and start training because that will take a little bit. Can't take that long, right? Super Rod must give it a pretty decent level. I'm thinking maybe like five levels or something. Actually, Donald, we catch it at level 10, so I want to evolve it at level 27 so it can learn recover first. 17 fucking levels? Oh, fuck no. This episode has been nothing other than waiting and fat phobia. Joe, pick another fucking Pokemon, one that's at least level 25 already. Donald, relax. I'm not happy about spending a long time leveling this Pokemon up, but just think of how amazing it will be when we're done. Me too could end up being the strongest member of our team with Surf, Ice Beam, Psychic, and Recover. It fucking better be. I'm just going to the new Discord while we wait and interact with the amazing fans from not only our community, but all of the biggest AI president Pokemon creators like Dilkson at 327, Game Producer 6, and Pokemon Presidents. For anyone that hasn't joined Pokeforce 1 yet, I don't know what the fuck you're waiting for, but the link to join is in the description. Come aboard today. That was actually a good plug until you completely butchered Dylan's name and yelled at people to join Donald. Agreed, Joe. Dylan's name isn't really Eleven Labs friendly, but it is what it is. Anyway, time for the level grind. I hope it doesn't take too long. Many months later. For the love of all that's holy, please, please let this be enough experience. I think the count is up to 800 Geodudes in Rock Tunnel, 300 Diglets in this cave, and a bunch of other Zubats, Machops, and Doug Trios as well. We're lucky the cops don't come into these caves or we'd be in more trouble than the trainer who only has his Pokemon self-destruct. At least it's finally over, and we can evolve me too. Biden, wake up, old man. Your starfish is evolving. Huh, what? Oh, Mewtwo is evolving. I'm awake. How long was I asleep for? Off-camera time was about an hour, but watching this makes it all worth it. I can't lie, watching that animation really does make grinding worth it. Just look at me too. He's a powerhouse. My Pokemon will truly be the strongest member of our team going forward. I can't wait to see him fight all the trainers on the way to Future City. Go get him, Obama. Yeah, speaking of that for the battles, what kind of music are you guys thinking for the montage? Why would we be doing... Oh, that's right. We had that poll on our channel for what everybody wanted in this episode. It was a very slim margin, but montage ended up winning Thanks again to everybody who voted. That's a good question, Donald. Maybe something a little upbeat to wake us up from that level grinding. I think I got just the thing, Biden. Hey, look who learned how to not let George faint. Oh, fuck off. Hey, look, it's Mewtwo. Holy shit, learn to read, Joe. Easy dubs just like the Celadon gym. Hey, Biden, maybe he can teach you how to ride a bike. Weaker birds than the Atlanta Falcons. The editor is a salty Packers fan. With that, boys, welcome to Fuchsia City. 
I thought we would never make it this session. Finally, we can go to the safari zone so we can add surf and strength to our arsenal. Do you remember the route to get to the secret house, Obama? It's become a little foggy in my mind over the years. I'm pretty sure I remember it, Joe. It's a few twists and turns, but nothing complicated. Maybe we can even catch a rare Pokemon on the way just for the heck of it. What idiot thought it would be a good idea to let anyone just walk into the preserve and catch near extinct Pokemon? Hello and welcome to the Safari Zone. Wait, it's you guys. Oh, hell no. Tucker is running the Safari Zone now. Yeah, I'll take those Safari Balls. We aren't paying Bozo. Donald Trump, you get the fuck back here right now. If the warden finds out I let people in for free, I'll get fired. Don't worry, Tucker, I'll give you the entry fee. Ignore Trump, he's just being himself. Thanks, Obama. I'm gonna tag along to make sure you aren't getting up to any trouble. How have you all been? We've been good, Mr. Janitor Cave Dweller. Oh, look at the Nadoran. Let's throw it some bait. All right, bye, little buddy. This petting zoo is fun. Biden, you dipshit don't feed the wild Pokemon. You're gonna turn them into dependent little fucks that keep coming at you for more food. Just look, it's that same Nadoran. Get the fuck out of here, you little shit. We've got work to do. Donald, this is a Pokemon sanctuary. We protect wild and endangered Pokemon. So the species doesn't die out, don't throw rocks at them. Oh, please, Tucker, you'll let any poacher walk through the door and hand them safari balls as long as they give you $500. Oh, Jesus Christ, another Nadoran. Trump used rock throw, it's super effective. Donald, what the hell is wrong with you and where are you getting all these rocks? Stop pelting the wild Pokemon with them. Yeah, Donald, stop being mean. It's almost as if naming a Snorlax after you, going all the way back to Pallet Town, leveling up my Pokemon by 17 levels and fighting a million trainers has you in a bad mood. No way, those are the most exciting things of a Pokemon run. Hey, Joe, think fast. Ouch, what the fuck? You threw a rock at me, Donald. That was so mean. That's it, give me all those damn rocks. You're banned from being able to have these. Hey, look, it's a Kangaskhan. We have to catch this. I'm gonna throw some bait, then try to catch this. Fuck, it ran away, God damn it. That's what you get for censoring my rock throwing ability, you jackass. I could have pelted it with a rock, then caught it easily. You guys didn't change at all, I see. Just as dysfunctional as in Mount Moon or on the SSN. Oh, Tucker, you scared me. I forgot you were even here. What brings you to these neck of the woods anyway? As soon as the SSN departed, I swam as quick as I could after it. After realizing I could never catch it, I got out of the water and a little bit later got a call that I had been fired for not being on the cruise. It was then that the safari zone. Warden saw me panhandling in Saffron City and offered me a job here. Damn, Tucker. Your life is straight up depressing. I guess not everybody can be as successful and good looking as myself. A small loan of a million dollars would probably do him really good right now, Donald. How about you return the favor you once got? Tell you what, Tucker, if you throw a rock at the next Pokemon, we see I'll give you that small loan. A million dollars? Oh, fuck yes. Sorry about this little guy, but Tucker doesn't want to eat out of the dumpster at Wendy's anymore. Donald, when will you learn you can't solve all your problems in life with rocks? You didn't have to make Tucker do that. We are literally terrorizing this preserve. And I thought I confiscated all your rocks. Oh well, at least this disaster is almost over. The secret house is just ahead. We can get Surf and the Gold Teeth, so we can get Strength as well. Don't forget to give Tucker his million dollars. I'm not happy with what he did to get it, but a deal's a deal. Clearly you never read Art of the Deal, Obama. I will be doing no such thing. Wait, what? Why not Trump? Give me my money. Sorry, Tucker, but I had my fingers crossed when I said that which relieves me of all legal responsibility to anything that I promised. You did? Oh, sorry, Tucker. As president, I have to uphold the sacred finger cross that truly absolves Trump of all obligation. I had a feeling you were going to screw me, Donald. You're a real jerk. After all I did for you, I can't believe you would do this to me. That is a pretty scummy move there, Donald, but Tucker, I have an idea. How about we let you give the fake teeth to the warden and maybe you'll get a promotion or bonus? Hey, that's a great idea, Obama. Yeah, that could really work. Okay, let's stop wasting time. I know exactly where the warden lives. Come on. It's just up this way. Guys, hurry up. Oh man, he might even name me as the next warden of the safari zone. Sir, I found your gold teeth. I brought them back to you. <laughs> Finally, I could speak again. Well, I thank you for bringing me back to me, Tucker. I need to have a word with you. First off, 
Why aren't you at your post? Anybody could just be walking in the safari zone right now. Secondly, I saw you on the camera. You threw a rock at a Nidoran. This is a nature preserve. You can't be throwing rocks at the Pokemon. You're fired. Go back to Saffron City, you cave dweller. I'm done with you. Sir, please, let me explain. It was Donald who told me to... Oh, what's the point? Forget it. But listen here. Trump, you orange son of a bitch. You haven't heard the last of me. I will have my revenge for this. Mark my words. That guy really can't catch a break, can he? No, he really can't. But Donald, do you think we should be worried about what he just said? Absolutely not. It's Tucker we're talking about. He's harmless. With that said, boys, do you think it's time to wrap this episode up? Are you telling me you forgot about Cycling Road Donald? We got some more trainers to face. We definitely need to level up our team for the upcoming gyms and the Sylph building. I'm thinking that I finish up those trainers. Biden can take out the Fighting Dojo and Sylph Co. And then in your episode, you can fight two gyms since you haven't had one yet. I get to face two gyms in one episode about time. The Big D finally gets to show you guys how to handle a gym battle with style and elegance. Also, you guys know what a lot more battles means, right? We are well aware, Donald. This is what most of you voted for. Cue the music. Taking down three heads for the price of one. Look, Donald, they put you in the game. Give me back my fucking rocks, Obama. The power of the mind is truly the greatest. Are you working on your pickup lines for Sabrina? Yeah, did you like it? That's a solid eight on the cringe meter. Do better, Obama. Did he not see us use dig? What a dumbass. I can't believe we actually found someone dumber than you, Biden. But I guess in 2023, anything is possible. Believe in Blackhawk. The best animation for a move in the history of Pokemon. Prove me wrong. Absolutely no lies detected. And before we end this session, how about we add in Drones Evolution? That's why you wanted to fight these trainers so bad, and were willing to give me a two gym battle episode. You wanted to evolve drone and have a two Pokemon evolving episode. Very sneaky move, Obama, but I respect it. We started this episode with just a Vulpix and no sixth party member. Now we'll have a Ninetales and a Starmie. The growth in this session was absolutely incredible. You can say that again, Joe. Now it's time to finally use this Firestone we've had for what seems like forever. Now grow stronger, my beautiful drone. Unleash your final form. It's so, oh my sweet baby Jesus, it's so beautiful, aha. I'm gonna go cry tears of joy about how amazing Drone has become. Have a great week, everyone. Finish off the episode, guys. Take a fucking breath and keep your pants on, Obama. The guy loves drones as much as I love money. But that is going to wrap it up for episode 12, everybody. Thank you so much for stopping by. We will be back to weekly uploads now that the editor is past the pain part of the recovery process. And we will see you next week. Don't forget to join the Discord. Link in the description. Bye, everyone. I take it by this phone call that you're in? Yes. I mean, the presidents must be stopped. Rest assured. Dear Tucker, just follow my every command, and the presidents will be no more.